All right, guys, we're back again with another adventure. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about TPM modules so that you can be able to get your computer either supported with Windows 11 or a program that's not letting you get through because it detects that you don't have a TPM module 2.0. So, we're gonna get into this video. I'm gonna show you how to get one and install it on your board and see if you can. All right, let's get into that video. All right guys, so TPM module stands for Trusted Platform Module and basically what it does, if you're gonna be using BitLocker, it helps keep you safer, be able to read the keys and make sure that everything gets to where it needs to go and everything and it helps keep the computer motherboard itself just kind of more protected. Some people say it's not really needed, some people say it is. Uh, we haven't really had to use it for a long time, so I mean, you can get around without using it, so it's just a preference, basically. Unless that's what your company needs to use, and then, hey, guess what, you have to have it then. But, even if your motherboard is old, you can still add these in there. All you gotta do is basically look at your motherboard, and you can see it right here, there are these pins. And you gotta make sure it says TPM underneath it, or you can look at your manual. Sometimes it might not be labeled, just depending on the motherboard brand and maker or how old the board is. Um, but you just look for TPM or look in your diagram and look at the pin layout. And uh, the motherboard, they might be able to find an actual one that's made for that motherboard. If they have it available, buy that one. If not, you can try and buy uh, another brand as long as it has that pin out on it but it's best just to find that brand, just to know that it's gonna work. These things aren't too expensive, so if you can't find your brands and you wanna try a different one, it ain't gonna break the bank. But, uh, so what you're gonna, like I was saying, for the pin out, see the pin's missing here? So this first one right here would be perfect for this. This is gonna go right into that slot right there. See how there's missing two? Missing two, it'll go right in there with no problems, and then it'll be able to work. And you'll get your trusted platform module 2.0, and it will be rocking and rolling. And let's see, right here, too. Here's a different one, an Asus one, too. But see how the pinout's different? It is, uh, works with Asus, but it might not work with that with your motherboard. So you gotta make sure you get the right pins. And the reason why I made this video recently. My brother-in-law called me, he has an older um, CPU, his computer still runs good, he has a 1070, 16 gigs of RAM, and he was like, dude, Miles, I can't play League of Legends, like, what the heck, it says I need, like, a TPM or something like that, and I said, what? Wait, because I bypassed a TPM module with Windows on it, and he said, no problems, except with League of Legends, it won't load the interface, once he starts the game, it won't load, because it says, we detect you don't have a TPM module, and I'm like, I've never seen that. A game? Like, why does a game really matter? It's a game. That just doesn't make sense to me. I'm sorry, that's stupid. That's just stupid. Um, so the game wanted the TPM module. So I said, okay, let's go to this, look on Amazon. And we found this exact one for his motherboard. Um, works freaking like a charm, let me tell you this. And right now, I'm gonna show you what it's like to install this sucker and how easy this is, that anybody can do it. If you wanna get a TPM module for your motherboard, don't worry, it's lickety split easy. So let's get into installing it. All right guys, as you guys can see right here, here is the little piece right here that needs to be put into the board. You see the pin out and then over there on the board over there you can see the TPM right there the slot and now this is what it looks like installed on the board so now we're on the computer it already detected it without me having to do anything and I'll show you guys how old this computer is running that has the TPM 2.0 support you'll be able to see the processor here let me go to it right now so if we go you can see up here look at that 6500 high five hey and if you guys like these videos like subscribe and hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my videos i know this is a kind of short video but a lot of people don't know that you can put a tpm module if your motherboard supports it in your computer so you can not have to worry about bypassing or installing that in, uh windows with a different version of an OEM version that you get online or something with the TPM module kind of written out of it so it can bypass it. 
If you just wanna make sure that all your programs are working fine and don't have to have a League of Legends thing like my brother-in-law did, well, you can get one of these too. It's pretty easy, self-explanatory. As you saw in the message, I didn't even have to do anything in the BIOS, but it doesn't mean you don't have to. With Asus, with that one motherboard, just that one motherboard, I don't know if it's all of them, um, as soon as I put it in there, it was automatically activated once I started the computer. You're gonna wanna shut down your computer, power off when you plug this in though, so make sure it's unplugged, powered down, before you plug this in there. But yeah, it was freaking awesome and simple. I just plug and play basically and checked it out. And you could see that diagram, he has an older CPU, way older, and it worked fine. And guess what? As soon as he loaded up League of Legends, just worked just like that. So hey, as I always say, I hope you and your family are having a rock and rolling day. Peace out and catch on. I have another cool video coming for you next. Thank you.